You've heard the old colloquialism, uh, local man makes good. Well, this is even better than that, because he's getting better than good. This is Jack Dean. I'm sure many of you recognize him from the series on NBC, The Eleventh Hour. And you do a magnificent job on the show, Jack. Well, thank you. It's, I feel very lucky to be a part of it, because it is a pretty good show, and we've been received well. And so I'm just glad I'm there. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure, but... <laughs> Uh, the main Jack Dean goes back a few years to uh, the college days in football, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I played at Oklahoma 51, 2, and 3, mm -hmm. and uh, a long time ago now. Well, you know, I, I mentioned to several people that I was going to come down and, and interview you tonight, and uh, they didn't uh, know that you were originally from Oklahoma. They did, hadn't quite associated the uh, doctor on, the, Is that right? uh, on your series and the real you. So it's a real privilege to be able to talk to you. I yeah. uh, understand we have a big vote coming up uh, tomorrow, and uh, this is, has been one of my little pet projects. In fact, uh, about three weeks ago, I heard about it and uh, started, you know, not, won't say pushing it, but I found it to be very worthy of a little more interest than people seemingly give it, and this is the new bonds for the hospital. And I understand this is your prime purpose in coming back to Oklahoma City. Well, that's true. That's uh, the, the specific reason I'm here, because a lot of people are asking me, well, you know, you don't live in Oklahoma anymore, but this is still my state. Mm -hmm. These are still my people, and this is where I belong, and this is where my heart is. And I think this proposition is probably one of the most important that, until the general election that, that people will vote on. And the thing I think that's important about it is, I don't think there's any question about people voting for it if they know what it is. Uh, I understand that it's on a, propos on a <coughs> ballot with about three or four other propositions that perhaps aren't quite so popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know, like a lot of people, when you start voting, you, you vote no, 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 and pretty soon you just say no, 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 right. without reading the rest of them. And this uh, particular uh, proposal will be on a white ballot and not on the blue, like uh, I think the rest of them will mm -hmm. be. And this is something that the people of Oklahoma already own. It's money in the bank. And it's a bond issue, but it isn't a bond issue where it's going to cost more tax dollars, which is, I know, the first thing I look at, too. You know, right. taxes? No. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. uh, but this is, uh, I think it's very important that the people understand that, that through the cigarette tax, the money is already there, and all it has to do is be rechanneled mm -hmm. right back in... Uh, to the state and mm -hmm. for the hospital. And as most of the doctors and lab technicians and what have you come out of our own medical center, and I do say center, not centers, we only have one. Um, I think the people of Oklahoma uh, want this because they do need it. Mm -hmm. And if they're, I know it's, it's inexcusable to me that a state like ours, a progressive state, a state that has really come to the front in many fields in the last few years, has to turn away young Oklahoma people because they don't have room for them to go and try and get an education and study medicine. Right. And I, there's just no reason for that. Even if it costs us money, I think we should do it. But it doesn't cost us money. And what is interesting about it, um, on a federal level, uh, they will match the money. And of course, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of federal aid and giving money. I don't either. But if it has to be done, I think it should be done within the state. Sure. And I think that we, the people of Oklahoma, should take advantage of this mm -hmm. and get this medical center in. Right. Well, the um, fact that we do lose many of our young people to other states to, uh, for education, and uh, I think Oklahoma has always been well known for its teachers, and yet we uh, don't give them the facilities that they need. And we lose a lot of our teachers, too, right. you know. They go to New Mexico and Arizona because they can get more money. Mm -hmm. And it's sad because I think probably we have the best facilities for teaching teachers mm -hmm. in our state, but we don't keep them. And I hope this doesn't happen in our medical field. Have you been out to the hospital uh, yet? Are you yes, yes, I have. And <laughs> we need it. Listen, I, I don't want to invite everyone to go out to the hospital and take a tour because uh, you just have this afternoon, and certainly you might not be able to make it through because I have been also uh, at the hospital many times and this is, uh, it's really a disgrace, Jack. I don't mm -hmm. mind saying that. Mm -hmm. um, they actually have a ward out there with 28 beds in it in one ward and one bathroom. 
And the beds are the old-fashioned iron type. And, and another thing, I'm, you know, believable, is that at the Children's Hospital, there is not one, one single room there for isolated cases or, you know, very sick children. Mm -hmm. They're all in wards, every single child. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some of the uh, school facilities are being conducted in the corridors. Right. That's hard to believe, I, but it's I, true. I, I and I think it. this must be voted on uh, and passed. Well, by the people in Oklahoma. This certainly couldn't be classed as a debate because I'm so much in accord with you. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't funny. And I, think, and I think the people in Oklahoma are too, right. except I think the only thing that's really important is that they understand what this is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't see how anyone could argue the point, but it's just that to try and get the people to come out and vote, right. number one, mm -hmm. and number two is, is not to just vote a straight ticket, no, 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 no. Um, vote however they want, right, but no, they just be aware of what they're voting for, and I think true. they'll vote yes on 411. Well, by coming back here and helping uh, helping the citizens out by drawing attention to it, and this is exactly what you can do very well, Jack, no, I'm see. sure that this uh, is, of course, because it is your home state, but again, your image in television, in the, in the fiction side of your life, has to do with medicine, and uh, have you found... Uh, more interest in this line of work since you have been affiliated with uh, this particular place? Yes, I have, and, and even though it is fictional, I think, they sound a little corny, but the deeds a man does, he's responsible for it. And so even though it's fictional and it's entertainment and I'm an actor, you get a, a certain recognition from people. They feel a certain way about you, and that's mm -hmm. why uh, Mr. Bellum and myself have gone to different places in different states and, and talked when we've been asked to come, because I think it's a responsibility we owe. And of course, coming here is more than that to me, right. because yeah. this is my state, right. and, uh, and I understand this need, and I think most people do. I think the whole issue, really, I know when I was asked to come, I was very proud of it. I was thinking, I said, well, you know, what difference would I make? Mm -hmm. But when told that I would, then I readily agreed to come, um, because the issue is not whether it's right or wrong, like you and me, no debate, uh, we're, we're in agreement. And I think our people are mm -hmm. that way. But the big thing is getting them to understand and to go out mm -hmm. to the polls and, right. and to vote. Mm -hmm. Well, I know it uh, is going to mean a lot to the people and to understand it a little better by having you here. And you have such a busy schedule. I, th I yeah. think it's uh, yeah. great. How many more shows do you have in the series? Well, we're on number 20 now, um, uh, which finished Friday. So we're going to 21 this week. Mm -hmm. And we have 34, so we have 14 to do. And we have two weeks off at Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll take us clear through April. You know, we have left something out, and if we don't uh, mention the fact that of your hometown, I'm afraid I'm going to get shot because this is one of our very good coverage areas. Oh, Alvin? Right. <laughs> the best place in the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> well, I know it is, and we have a lot of friends there, and I'm sure every one of you are boasting with pride that yeah. Jack is uh, boasting back here. And uh, when was the last time you ran out of Jack? It was a year ago Christmas. Uh, it's been too long. Well, I'm sure you'll make it back there. Yeah, I have an awful lot of good friends there, and, and I'll be coming back there just as soon as I can. Well, it's surely been a I wanted to get up this week, and I, uh, uh, but I had to, you know, I'm just in for this and have to get back to work. So well, it's been a real pleasure for me, Jack, uh, just visiting with you, and of course to be able to help you with the message that is uh, so badly needed. And just well, remember to, to vote this Tuesday, and I'm going to do something that I'm not supposed to do. I'm going to say vote yes. <laughs> I hope you will. <coughs> right. Thank you. Thank you, Jack Gaines.